How much of Yellowstone can we explore in just one day? That's what we're trying to find out on our first day in the park. We are coming by to make sure that your seatbelt is visible and securely fastened. Seat back and tray table in the full upright and locked position. All carry-on items stored under the seat in front of you and overhead bin, leaving the area around your lower leg and seat completely. like Montana. <laughs> we flew into Bozeman, Montana and rented a car to drive down to the north entrance of Yellowstone. We stayed in Gardiner, Montana, which ended up being a convenient starting point for exploring the park as it sits right outside of the north entrance. Abby said she likes this car so far. It's a Volkswagen SUV of some kind. <laughs> but it has this giant moonroof that actually opens. So I guess it's a sunroof. Technically, is that a sunroof? I don't know. Um, but we talked about if we see a bear, we can stand up in the car. <laughs> Our luggage. Can you feel this weather? It's nice. It's like 60 or something? 62? We made it to our Airbnb. Uh, this was kind of a last minute trip, so we didn't really have many options um, for stays, but I think this is pretty cute. Abby found this and I like it. Also, they're providing us bear spray. <laughs> <laughs> And if I don't see a bear to try it out, then we'll try it out on Abby. Yeah. <laughs> that evening, we picked up some groceries and went to bed early, excited for our first day in the park. So we're getting our little cooler ready. We're gonna take a, like picnic items because there's pretty much nowhere to eat in the park. So I made these little um, water bottles of frozen ice to work as like our ice packs. We're gonna have like sandwiches and just kind of snack today. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. <laughs> Look at the sky, we've got a blue sky today. Yesterday there was smoke from like a wildfire, but today it looks like we've got good weather. We're leaving our Airbnb and look at this, it's like an elk? I don't know. Reindeer? I don't know. What is this? Oh. I mean, it's not a it's not a little deer like in Oklahoma. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh, he's cute. <laughs> What's awesome about this town, Gardner, that we're staying in, is it's literally at the line of Yellowstone, like. Maybe show them. <laughs> We're already. We just into the park. left like two seconds ago, and here we go. We're about to drive in, and then right over here is the famous Roosevelt Tower at the entrance.
With only two full days in the park, we had to pack our schedule full to see everything we wanted. On this day, the plan was to drive as far as the west thumb of the Yellowstone Lake and hit up as many sites along the way as we could. First stop was the Mammoth Hot Springs. Can you smell the uh, glorious sulfur? It smells like pine trees and sulfur. <laughs> I can't believe how chilly it is. Yeah. This is August. <laughs> this is like a November day in Oklahoma. Look at the steam coming off. Yeah. We're at the upper part of Mammoth Hot Springs and it smells like rotten eggs. <laughs> All the steam's coming off. We just stopped at the uh, like Upper Mammoth Springs Terrace. There's a couple other little springs that we, you can see from up here. Um, when the wind blows your direction, whoo, it's quite unpleasant. <laughs> Very rotten egg egg. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it's pretty cool. I mean, looking at the like the landscape, it just looks so dead, and like the trees that have been growing there are all dead. Um, and then the like bubbling, smoking water. It's it's kind of cool. Yellowstone is amazing. There is so much to see that we didn't have time for. It would be easy to spend a week here and still not be able to see it all. We're sitting in the back of our rental car. We found a little spot to pull off on the side of the road. A little pretty river scenery and we're gonna make a little picnic lunch of sandwiches. Yeah, it's very chilly. <laughs> <laughs> He's grabbing your coat, covering yes. your legs. I should have brought a blanket. That's okay. <laughs> I don't mind it. prismatic springs and when you come somewhere like Yellowstone and you want to see the big stuff you have to have patience like everybody else wants to see it too everyone's trying to get a parking spot so just play some music that you like try to zen and be at peace <laughs> with the crowd <laughs> good advice <laughs> It's so cold. <laughs> We're just going to keep saying that over and over.
line for the bathroom. <laughs> Huge line for the bathroom. What we have found so far is instead of going to the bathroom at some of the popular areas, there's so many like little picnic spots on the side of the road that also have a bathroom. And so there's usually never anyone there. That's what we've been doing. Yeah, so just up the road from here, there's probably a little bathroom that has nobody there. It's cold. <laughs> Abby looks like the Unabomber. We, um, we are just now leaving uh, Old Faithful and um, it was like, it was eerily quiet, like waiting. So it's kind of funny actually. Mm -hmm. I, was, I was having to keep myself from kind of chuckling. <laughs> <laughs> everybody was anxious to see it. Yeah. So it was teasing slightly and I think everybody was just kind of like, <gasps> Here it goes. Oh, wait. Like, no. You know, oh, here it goes. So no, it wait. It's weird to have that many people be so quiet. You could really hear the water like spraying. It was pretty cool. Yeah. I thought it was pretty. Uh, I don't I wonder how high it went. Oh, who knows? Yeah. I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't know. But, um, but yeah, we're going to head over to West Thumb Geyser now and um, hopefully get out and kind of hike around that area. It's going bleh, bleh. <laughs> You can hear it bubbling. Uh -huh. It probably won't pick up. Like, I don't know if it'll record it. Gosh, it's so clear. I just want to swim in it. Hmm. Look at how You think beautiful. it's cold? Oh, I bet it's cold. I bet it's freezing. Gosh, it's beautiful. getting later in the day. The sun is starting to set. It's cold, like we've said earlier. <laughs> it's cold in the shade. <laughs> we are walking up 
to see the overlook of the Grand Prismatic Spring. Hopefully the sun hasn't set too much and because I think when the sun uh, shines into it kind of is whenever you get the most color out of it. So hopefully it's not in the shade. to Artist Paint Pot. Um, it's supposed to be like muddy and bubbles and stuff. Uh, we're hiking quickly because we're losing data. <laughs> it's a mile long. Oh yeah, it's a mile long. <laughs> It's getting so late. We've spent all day kind of exploring the park and now we're gonna probably have to drive back in the dark. Mm. There's just not enough time in the day to see everything. Nope. So but we'll, we have tomorrow. That's right. We'll pick back up tomorrow and we'll go some of the routes that we missed today. Yeah. And we're gonna have more sandwiches for dinner. Woo! There is more to see and explore in this amazing park. Subscribe and join us on our next video as we spend our last day in Yellowstone. <laughs>